are you doing? Are you doing senior night? How are you doing senior night? We're doing senior night like we normally do it after the Rutgers match. Everybody who's a there will be five seniors. Last I checked, but I think there's five. Is it surprising to you that that's already here, John? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, it's day by day. <laughs> so, so, um, but uh, anyway, it's. Uh, I don't know. No, it's not surprising. It's just. Just we're in the day by day grind right now, just trying to figure out how to get two wins this weekend. Just want our, our players to play well and they practice really well this week. And um, just hope they <coughs> take that into the, into the matches this weekend. We two weeks left, you're still got all your goals in front of you, still tied for first in the Big Ten. How do you approach knowing that everything's still in front of you? Well, we approach it the same. Uh, we don't really talk much about it. We're just trying to talk about how what level we want to play at. And what's, you know, if you look at statistically, if you look at the Big Ten stats, I mean, we're number one in several categories. Uh, and, the, and the one we're not is an attack efficiency. And, and so that's kind of been our focus is how can we raise that? Well, it's a combination of passing, it's a combination of setting, it's a combination of making good decisions. So that's been a, a big focus this week because defensively we're, we're top of the conference. And uh, in a lot of areas, and uh, uh, so we got that. But we got we know we got to score better to beat these top teams. Have any of the three seniors that come back said said they'd like to, to come back next year? We haven't discussed it. They Is that said an they, they, they they we asked them if they wanted a senior night. They said yes. So um, I think when, once the season's over, then we have those conversations. But right now, they want a senior night and. Uh, obviously, Lexi and Lauren really want a senior night, so uh, that's how we're doing it. When you look at your office efficiency, you haven't hit over 250 in three or four weeks, too. I mean, is that what is the root of that problem? Is that just passing, or is it setting? Well, I just told it's 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 a common. I mean, offense is. Just like in football, it's you know you got to block, you got to make good decisions, you got to make the right throws. So it's just a really fine line. But if you look, there's a lot of teams that aren't hitting very well. The, the, the level of play and the level of defense in this conference is I've never seen it this strong. And how good these teams are defensively and blocking. I mean, Indiana, which is one of the worst. I mean, they're, they're still really playing at a really high level defensively. I mean, it's hard to kill balls. And we're still killing a lot of balls compared to other teams. If you look at our kills per game, I think we're number one. But it doesn't feel like it. So you have to. That's why we're now we we're having so many digs because we're in these long rallies trying to kill balls. And um, so it's just a, a combination of you know that's really a lot of teamwork and all the cylinders have to be hitting. Have you made progress on serving? Because I know that was a concern a while ago. And just being. Being aggressive and not being too narrow prone back there. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it, you're always riding the fine line, and um, uh, there's nights we've been really good, and there's nights we've been pretty good. We, we really, you know, it was a while ago when we had any bad nights. So our serving is a strength for us, and um, you know, I, I, I feel sorry for our pastors like today. I mean, it's, it's really hard to get confidence passing when you have to deal with our servers, but. Seeing that every day, when we get to the games, it looks a little easier. That one's good. John, we talked to Kayla a few minutes ago. Has she exceeded your expectations? What, what did you maybe have in mind for what she could contribute to your program when she came here a few years ago? Um, she is, if I had to give the most improved player, she's by far our most improved player in, in the last year. Um, she was developed into a really good blocker for her size. She's an exceptional blocker. And she's going to, you know, some hitters are going to go over her and just because they're bigger. But she, for her size, she's developed into an exceptional blocker. And we already knew she was a great attacker and has a great arm. And really the only person that stops her is Nicklin. You know, Nicklin doesn't put the ball where she needs it. She, if Nicklin gets the ball in the right spot, she'll kill it. And so, you know, I have high expectations for everybody, but Kayla has has made the most progress in the last year of anybody. It's been, it's been pretty cool to see.
especially when you know you're you're that old and you make that much of an improvement, it's huge. looking forward to about Penn State this weekend. It's Penn State. It's, you know, it's Russ, it's Penn State, it's a tradition. It's, we always have great matches with them and uh, they're fun to play and our crowd loves when we play Penn State. You know, we got a lot of rivals but I think that is a, a respect rival. It's, it's two great programs going head, you know, battling it out, going head to head and there's a lot on the line on this match for both teams and uh, it's fun. This is what our, our players are Everybody's looking forward, you know, to playing these matches. You have to make sure your granddaughter's not wearing the wrong onesie this week. Yeah, <laughs> she she outgrew the the Penn State one, so <laughs> so I don't know if she has a Nebraska one. Yeah, thanks, okay, guys, thanks. thanks. Thank you.